Yeah, go to the exhibit. Super. Yeah. Mm. Touch this beautiful body, barely. Hold this lover a temporary turbulence, for this smile may not be here come morning. Come morning, come grief, come death, come one, come all, come. To the celebratory ejaculation, look at all the bodies dancing beneath this capillary confetti. And aren't we supposed to love all the bodies, these souls vessels, these blood vessels, just vessels for blood, these bodies, just vehicles for these vessels of blood, of blood? It's fluid state, its ability to Erect such monuments, such momentous magnificence, such palpating foreplay, each orgasm organic, each orifice and intersection of two souls found whole in these holes, these holes. They have begun to dig themselves, have begun to gentrify these genetics colors, curating the care given these double helix hallucinations, shine bright light beacon over these tombstones, a marriage of dirt and bones and dignity still not recognized in the eyes of their God. In the eyes of my God, there is a universe of stars, a galaxy of stargazers, and God lights the stargaze, lights the stargaze, and how imploding our beauty is, how glitter we've gauzed ourselves, how us supernovas never bleed, and she, God, yes, she, breathes life into lesbian lungs, breathes love into gay loins, tries her damnedest to pull the hate from their hearts, their hearts. No, not Valve, no, only Beryl, kick, fire, no only barrel, throat, body, no only barrel towards and kick through, no only barrel thrown at a shotgun speak these bodies, no only barrel, kick, fire, a fire, it's frantic phalanges, reaching like flames, us flamers, holding this ember, embrace us fags, just phoenix eyes, just engulfing retinas, these dikes, trying to hold the water back, tears, reborn again, we, a pack of cigs, on all their tongues, us necrophiliac nicotine bodies, loving all those dead, holding all those dying, how this world is so addicted to any type of decay, decay is the act of decomposition. The gay is the act of recomposing our daily decomposition while these gravekeeper politicians practice post-mortem prejudice, finding the funny bone even in these piles of cremated casualties, dying casually and out of sight of sight, was born vision was born invisibility, these bodies learned darkness, these bones learned descent, learned a fall from destiny, learned how needed these knees are, but not on hardwood, not for hard wood. How positivity can turn an optimist pessimist, turn a glorious growth to a grotesque gravitation, and the gravity of the grave weighs forgiveness. Forgiveness is only shown painted across our tombstones, our obituaries, merely propaganda for our own pestilence. We are the faults of our own choices. This epidemic is no sandbox. These bodies are not just grains of sand. This epidemic is no hourglass. Our bodies do not fall just to pass your time, but the time is passing. The people are passing and the world is trying to rid itself of us infections. So we write names in the sand and hope the wind blows their weight along with their names and their stories and we wait and the sand and the sentiments and these stars blow away with the aid of the wind. And so I pledge allegiance to the fags, to the dykes and transgender of America and to the republic that stands against with one mere nation under an imagined God is divisible until there's liberty and justice for all. This American body collective has a disease. This disease is not built by or built for these queer bodies alone, though we are dying alone. This epidemic is not the consequence for not conforming. This American body collective has a disease. These white stars stitched into blue sea fabric feel a foreshadowing of drowning. Each of us a supernova surrendering to the current suffocation. But these white stars, though, they know not what it is to be darkness, know not what it is to try to shine white star through shaded pigment. We, the people of color, for the people of all other colors, are sometimes forgotten in the conversation. Sometimes this rainbow does not want to know darkness, but wants to know colored, does not want to address the unjust demons born of deconstructing its demonizations. We, the people of color, for the people of all other colors, are sometimes forgotten in the conversation. This rainbow does not want to know darkness, but wants to know colored. 
And such the American tangent to try to stratify the stigma of death as if all of us have not felt the fate of finality so muddied is this America that its children are dying yet arguing all the way to the grave about who was ever truly worthy of existing to begin with. Factions of fractions fade to the fringe, to the outskirts and these fringe patrol physicians welcome their unwanted hands over the charts of our uncharted bodies pull pulses out of skirts and place us placebo plague people in these pungent tea cells Incarceration instead of immunization. Quarantining quantities of queer folks for what? For being folks? For being folks that don't fear? For being folks that don't fear fornication or wait? Was it for being folks fear and fornication? I do not know where I would be without this world. I do not know a world absent of AIDS. I do not wor know a world absent of HIV. But these stone walls have already policed this brutality, rioted rights wings, democratically destigmatizing. But these elephants, they do not forgive. Do not forgive either. There are elephants in the hospital rooms. There are donkeys beneath the hospital beds, jackasses in front of podiums, Democrats and Republicans poisoning the populace. This poison is not personal, is not preconceived or conscious. We we the faggots of the unfortunate crisis of AIDS in order to live, to see a recognized union establish, it's not just us, ensure divine civility and we promise to provide free condoms for basic defense, promote welfare in general. We the people will not ordain or endorse our constitution for we too are America. Woo!